What's going on everybody? Papa Gord back again. I am this time not speaking the language very good. So What's going on everybody? Papa Gord back for, wait for it, a top 10 list. I know it's not the end of 2023. We're not even to the middle point of 2023, but since I've gotten back into doing reviews, I was looking at my collection and thought to myself, well, one, it's the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Happy anniversary. It's also the Black Series anniversary, 10 years. So I thought, I wonder if I can pick out 10 figures. Some of which might come as a surprise, but these are probably 10 of my favorite figures throughout the line. So we're just gonna get into it. I've got two, yeah, two honorable mentions, and then we're just gonna go, I guess there's some sort of an order, but you know what, let's, let's just see how this works. So let me know down in the comments as we get through this list, um, if you had to do a top, five i'll give you that that's your homework top five what's your top five figures in your black series collection let me know down in the comments because honestly i would love to see because it's gonna probably be some some crazy lists out there mine included so let's just start off with it oh there we go first Honorable mention is going to be, and I know it might be cheating a little bit, but uh, the Dagobah, Luke, uh, and Yoda 2-pack. Uh, I think the figure, they still just haven't got Mark's face quite right. He's just got one of those looks that is hard to put into a 6-inch action figure form. But we've got a new Yoda that is scaled correctly. We get the classic blue backpack. I think the figure on a whole covering up his head, I think they did an excellent job, especially showing off the muscles. Um, you know, the joints work so much better. It's the updated knees on this guy. Uh, I managed to get him into uh, a handstand, upside down handstand pose once. So yeah, honorable mention. Probably spent too much time on that one. But uh, next honorable mention and my last one, is also from Empire Strikes Back, go figure. And it would be the Chewbacca and uh, C-3PO kind of two-pack. This just hits me in the feels. Uh, I do remember having um, the busted up C-3PO when I was a kid. Uh, I remember in the theater when 3PO went boom, I was just like, oh my Lord. You didn't really find him as annoying back then because that was only the second movie that we'd seen him in. But uh, yeah, I mean, Chewy, yeah, Chewy's Chewy. But I just think overall with the netting, the whole bit, it was frustrating as all hell. Shout out to Uncle Mike for putting that tutorial out there because that helped immensely. But yeah, great, great, great pairing. Absolutely great pairing. All right, are you ready? Meat and potato time, everybody. So my number 10, fairly new, absolutely would be uh, Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian. This is the second release, as you can see, because she's got her soft goods cloak. Uh, I just think she looks amazing. The articulation's beautiful. Uh, just, just the figure on a whole looks great. I think they captured Rosario very nicely. And I, and I kind of dig the cloth ropes. Honestly, if, if this wouldn't have been released, we would have had the regular version down here, but this just gives it a little bit more something, more shelf presence, I guess. So that's my number 10. Now we're gonna go back a little bit and we're going to go with uh, the Rebel Trooper or whatever you wanna call him. Um, <laughs> just, just something about him. The, the guy screams 70s. He's got those 70s sideburns uh, before the photo reel, really not based on anybody, but looks like a dude that you probably knew. Uh, comes with the Death Star plans. He's got his typical blaster. 
does have a holster on the side. Honestly, I don't even know if I ever paid attention to that. Dig the classic helmet with the, the little antenna on there. Yeah, he's uh, uh, most, a most definite addition to the collection. Uh, Articulation is not bad considering, right? We're going old school with the uh, with the double jointed uh, knees, and uh, yeah, so not not too bad for not too bad for number nine. Number eight is the original Obi Wan Kenobi. We all know how much I love my Obi Wan Kenobis. This is the first release that came out, and I don't care with the photo reel and any of that, this still holds up today. I've got the I've got every Obi-Wan, but like they didn't need to do the photo reel. Uh, I still think this was an just an incredible job they did on this figure for how many years ago this was now. Uh, the articulation is not too bad. You got the robe. Of course, you get Obi-Wan's lightsaber. Uh, just a classic, classic figure. Although I do need to fix the hood. Number seven. Ooh, another female on the line. That's pretty good. Asajj Ventress, straight up. I think she's just a wicked looking figure uh, between the purples, uh, especially all the different uh, shades of purple on her. I love the glittery bit that she's got going on on her dress. Uh, this front piece, the dual lightsabers, all the tattoos on here. If you were lucky enough also to make sure like that you got one where the tattooing uh, was good. I did have another where the, the one around the mouth was not good. So I was able to score a second. And yes, just an absolute incredible looking figure. Again, all these all these figures, like one thing they haven't got, they're just great shelf presence. And when you can have something this colored amongst the sea of primarily white, uh, she definitely stands out. Number six, I believe this was a figure of the year figure at one point in time. And there's Dengar. Poor old Dengar. Just something about him, you know, just that, you know, that little schlub guy. This is the original version, not the archive. I felt no need to have to go archive with Dengar whatsoever. He looks incredible. He's got his sidearm, he's got his rifle, he's got his backpack, he's got his bandages. He's rocking his little slippers. He's just, yeah, he looks great. Uh, articulation, considering he's a bulky armored dude in band-aids or bandages, he, he's, he's got great articulation. So there we go. Good old Dengar. Hitting our top five. So, um, man, this is so hard. Such a painful process to sit there and try to put a number on something. But with that being said, let's just get into five. And that would be... Jaina Solo. I know she technically, canon-wise, doesn't exist, you name it, but uh, this, this figure, Mike, honestly, was the one who sold me on this one. When I saw his review for this figure, I instantly was like, I have to find her. Uh, the fact that you can take her whole X-Wing, like, take off her flight harness, uh, you've got multiple different ways between her helmet You've got her lightsaber, her pistol. Actually kind of looks a little like it could be the spawn of Harrison Ford because she's kind of got that smirk going on there. They still use this body, which they've um, used for Dr. Afra, I believe the Mara Jade. Um, I think the other Afra that's coming out. So there there are definitely a few that have reused this uh, this this body mold. And that's, that's, that's not a bad thing. So... I will definitely say, man, maybe she should have been higher on the list. Um, a definite grab if you can find her. Because she just looks, ugh, just looks so good. So good. Purple lightsaber as well. So there you go. Number four. Good old General Veers. Uh, you know, 
while maybe the uh, the Imperial military commander outfits, eh, you know, aren't maybe the best, getting this figure uh, was amazing. Head sculpt looks it looks incredible. There we go. Let's take it off right there. I think they did a great job. The fact that you can remove the armor and just make him hanging out with Tarkin and Piet and whoever else you want him to hang out with. But uh, yeah, to have that removable is is excellent. The fact he also does have a, a holster because a lot of them don't. And that's frustrating. So at least he can store his accessories. So yeah, good old General Veers. He's a solid four. Uh, again, uh, if you passed on him, I don't know what you were doing. So <laughs> that's all I got to say for that one. Number three, and of course, if I don't put one of these out there, uh, I'm going to kick myself. But it's, it's Din Djarin or Mando the Mandalorian. This, again, would be the, the second piece of that, the two-pack. Um, honestly, I could have really probably picked any of my Mandalorian figures, maybe minus the one with the removable helmet, because, oh my lord, that face sculpt is not good. I mean, I think maybe the... Uh, the frostbite looking version with all the all the frost on his armor, I think looks tremendous. This one's slightly different because it's got the, the little clip on the back instead of having the the hole to put his uh, his rifle. So you finally get an official Beskar spear. But yeah, I think he just he just looks great. I love it. Kinda wish they would do a soft goods cape. I know people are out there that do this type of stuff, but uh, I'm surprised they haven't done an official one yet. So that's number three. Number two, and if you don't know by now, you're, I don't know, but that's that's the gammy. Good old, mm, good old the Gamorian guard. Uh, thanks to Mr. B, I now have my second one, uh, and I'm okay with that. I don't need any more. I always wanted to, was never able to find a second one back when he did first release, but like, good Lord almighty, you got his nice little furry outfit. It comes with a few different weapon choices between the staff uh, or the two big blades that he carries, articulated jowls right there. He just looks awesome. Super, super awesome. Uh, I couldn't be, couldn't be happier with this guy. Um, He's a number two, so it means that there's still one left. But uh, I have seen that people are starting to post pictures that the 40th carded version of For Return of the Jedi is out there. So seriously, I don't care. If you only are able to get one, you need at least one. If you're not a completionist, you don't care about whatever, uh, I still would tell you straight up, this is de a definite must for your collection. You gotta get the Gamorrean Guard. And you need at least two. That looks so much better. So, uh, that's it. That's my list. Except for one more. And th this might be cheating, I don't know, but it, hey, it's my list. Like I said, I've given you guys homework. I want your top five down in the comments. If you can't think of five, at the very least, give me your top three. And again, through the entire line. I know there hasn't been any sequel figures in here. I haven't really been thrilled with the sequel figures. Plus, mine are all in storage. I guess if I had to pick one, maybe Archive Old Man Han Solo just because of the head sculpt. Other than that, uh, yeah, there's there's really not one that really jumps out at me and says, pick me, pick me. Uh, the Sith Trooper? I don't know. But anyway, so last but definitely not least, because this is number one, so kudos. And also another figure of the year for me. And that would be the updated mold Stormtrooper. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. There's, what's there to say? There's Skittle colors all over the place, right? You got your white. You got your red. 
You, oh, I don't know if I want to touch him because his backpack's going to fall off. Thanks, Linda. Uh, you got your yellows. You've got your remnant troopers. You've got your patrol troopers. You just, yeah, they have done... We all know the original Stormtrooper mold has not aged very well. Oh, that was good. So, yeah, they get bow-legged. Uh, they don't stand all that well. The helmets are a little wonky. You know, like, there's just... Oh, man, he's dusty. <laughs> I still, I still love them. Do not get me wrong. I've, I've got a lot of the original ones, but they've, they've, Hasbro, you did good. You did real good. Absolutely love the new Trooper mold. Does look like a guy in a set of armor or a gal in a set of armor. Um, and uh, yeah, give me more. They are spread all throughout my collection. This is one that you can never have enough of. Um, you do need a couple of the originals just to appreciate the new, even more so. But I honestly, like, yeah, can't go wrong. Uh, plus, I know a stormtrooper. So, shout out to Brian, ATK. All right, everybody, that's going to do it. So, this is my number one. It's still my number one. Gamorrean Guard is so close to just bumping them out of the way. But uh, I love what I love, and, and that's just what it is. So that's going to do it for my, my top 10 for the 10 years of Black Series. All right, comment, share, like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube mumbo-jumbo. We'll see you in the next one. Later, eh? Yeah.